Horton and the Quaker Bug. How you doing? Get the kids in. Christian promises to uh, keep a civil tongue. We're going to do a story. Here's a story of Dr. Seuss. And we've got one minute and 30 seconds until that happens. So Silas, get your jams on. Get dried. Get out of the, the tub. Get in bed. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. La dee 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 dee. You see him behind the scenes. Do cool stuff like, like that with my papers. Christian's over there. He found his happy place. You know, kid. Oh, it's a joke, kid. I wonder what the, uh, uh, how's it going, Erica? I wonder what the, uh, the ratio of grown adults to actual children is on this thing. Uh, there's probably four kids and uh, a thousand uh, people over 40 that listen to these stories. And I like that. Uh, hi, Carrie. Carrie Russell Zaragoza. And Carol. Got 20 seconds here. Ooh, better find my little thingy. I mean, my little song. Here we go. Ten seconds. Hey, you know, a quick shout out, Christian, to our uh, social media pals, uh, like Aaron Al. Oh, uh, he's awesome. our fan page. Uh, there's like 600 people that yeah. actually call themselves fans of this program. Uh, I don't know what they're thinking. But they get together every day on Facebook, uh, and you just look for it, Andy in the Afternoon, The Fan Lounge, and, uh, and it's a, by uh, a subscription only. He has to approve you because they don't want any you know, turds in the punch bowl. Yeah, just anybody. Yeah. You know? uh, but now then, it's time for a little bedtime story. Are you going to read turds in the punch bowl? Try, try to stay away. No? Try to keep it clean. Okay. Although everybody poops. Here we go. Uh, this is from the new uh, uh, Lost Stories from Dr. Seuss. This is... The Hubub and the Grinch. That's right, kids. There was a time when the Grinch wasn't all that poopy. Here we go. The Hubub was lying outdoors in the sun. The wonderful, wonderful, warm summer sun. There's nothing, he said, quite as good as the sun. Then up walked the Grinch with a piece of green string. How much, asked the Grinch, will you pay for this thing? You sure ought to have it. You'll find it great fun, and it's worth a lot more than that old-fashioned sun. Huh? asked the Hubub. Sounds silly to me. Worth more than the sun? Why, that surely can't be. But it is, grinned the Grinch. Let me give you the reasons. The sun's only good in a couple short seasons. For you'll have to admit that in winter and fall, the sun is quite weak. It is not strong at all. But this wonderful piece of green string I have here is strong, my good friend, every month of the year. Even so, said the Hubub, I still sort of doubt. But you know, yapped the Grinch, and he started to shout, that sometimes the sun doesn't even come out. But this marvelous piece of green string, I declare, come out of your pocket if you keep it there. Any time, day or night, any place, anywhere. Hmm, said the Hubub, that would be quite handy. This piece of green string, yelled the Grinch, is a dandy. That sun, let me tell you, is dangerous stuff. It can freckle your face. It can make your skin rough. When the sun gets too hot, it can boil you like fat. But this piece of green string, sir, will never do that. This piece of green string is colossal immense, and to you, well, I'll sell it for 98 cents. And the hubub, he bought. And I'm sorry to say that Grinches sell hububs such things to this day. Good night, Silas. Go to bed. And that's me using a $100 million radio station that doesn't belong to me to read the story to my son. Sell some hubub. Hubub. Let's do it. I'm going to go home and have some hubub. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, Rita Wilde's in. Start her off with three from the Stones, man. 100.3, the sound. Woo. Night. Today, rock history, Andy reads Hubub. <laughs>